everyone, I'm doing a, not a review, I'm doing a sneaker collection video for the first time, so I hope everyone likes it. First up, we have the Adidas Ultra Boost, which I did a whole video on. Great fucking shoe, which is great. We got the Nike SB Purple Pigeon. These would look much better in white laces in my opinion, so I'll probably swap those out at one point. Great shoe though, great shoe. Uh, SB samples. Um, let me take a look over here. That's picking it that up. I uh, picked these up off eBay for like 60, 70 bucks. <laughs> no, only sample in my collection, so I just thought it was pretty dope to have. So there's that. Public School New York Jordan 12s. Great shoe. Um, in my opinion, best collaboration uh, of 2015 in terms with Jordan brand um, and a clothing line. These retail at $300. I have a whole separate video um, done on these, but these are great. Um, leather interior, so uh, you can't go wrong with these. And these are super tough, so I was worried about the, how the suede would look with the crease. It's easy boost, no rock there. Um, probably my favorite feature of this shoe is probably this, this suede inner over here. I just really like it. Um, not the, you know, if you had a chance to pick these up at retail, you just do it, you don't really think about it. I just, I'm not a huge fan of this colorway. I prefer the Turtle Doves or the Pirate Blacks, but it's just still great. Got the OVO Tons, great shoe. Uh, I do have two pairs, as you can see here and there. Um, one shoe I'm keeping to stock um, because one of these were given to me um, as a birthday gift, so I just wanted to keep one on ice, but great shoe. Between the white and the black, I would go with the black. It just goes with you know a lot more. You could wear it during the winter, uh, fall time. Um, these get through you a lot quicker, like you can see over there. And my other shoe has a big scuff on it, but whatever. Deep in. Um, forward Jordans and all that, I was, I like Nike SBs a lot. Um, so this pair is no exception to that. Um, huge fan of the gum sole. Went really well with the lows versus the highs. Um, this is one of the shoes that was inspired by weed. I heard shoes you can say that, but great shoe. Got picked this up at the Concepts. Um, concepts. 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 The garage sale. That was pretty awesome of them to do. Um, Nike SB Janowski. Uh, like I said, huge fan of Nike SB. The Janowskis are the first, or Janowskis are the first shoes that I got into when I got into SBs. So, um, another I'm a huge fan of the suede materials. That was great. I don't really wear this one as much because it's so crazy, but I still have it. Nike Flyknit Chuka, or Chaka, however you might want to say it. Um, 3M hints on the laces, uh, really nice, and you know, just a comfortable shoe. I did a whole separate video on this one as well. If you want to take a look at that, on to the next one. These are probably one of my favorite shoes in my collection. Um, it's the Adidas Top 10 Low Red, White, and Red, White, and Blue pair. Um, I think this is from around. 2010, 2011. Um, this is just like you know the OG pair, not the OG one. I see. Um, I just really like it. This is one of the shoes that I got into back in high school, so I still have it on there. It's not that bad for the age, but I'll probably wear it from time to time. Next up, uh, Nike SB Tin Man. These weren't hyped. I just like the black with the silver. I think it looks really nice. Not a fan of the icy sole, but whatever. One of the more recent pickups. 
uh, Jordan 11 7210s. Probably the best Jordan 11. I can't say that, never mind. Um, probably the top, one of the top releases of uh, 2014. This leather tongue is great, leather is nice and plush. The inside feels great, so all around great shoe. Wore, actually, wore this the first day I got it, so I was pretty happy about that. Um, DMP6s, the these are beat. Like, so you can see over here, you could just, considering their age, I think they're in pretty good condition, but not a huge fan of them, but they're there. These are one of, also one of my favorite shoes. Um, Nike Air Tech Challenge 2, if I'm not mistaken, the hot lava colorway or the hot pink. This is one of the shoes that Jerry Seinfeld wore. I'm actually a huge Jerry Seinfeld fan, and I just, when I saw the shoe, I just had to jump on it. Complex did an article on, I want to say it's uh, 20 shoes that Jerry Seinfeld wore, but I might be mistaken. These were on it, so I just had to pick them up. I uh, just love it. Like, I don't know. It just, it has that, you know, 90s look and it's just, you know, I love it. I don't know. I just really like this shoe. Next up, Air Force One White Low. Here's this from March 11th of 2010, date of production. This is probably one of the first shoe shoes or, you know, shoes that I got when I, you know, introduced to the sneaker. Sixth grade, probably. Uh, all the kids, you know, because I went to a charter school, so you could either wear all whites or all black. So these were the shoes that everyone went with. So this was my first, you know, sneaker. Um, and that was probably like 07, 06, so that's when Air Force Ones were huge. So I'm just pretty happy to have this. Worn it a lot. I might have even molded the line with this, that's why it's yellow like this. But Air One Mints, uh, this is the 2015 version. These released back in 09 when I was in seventh grade in uh, my high school because my high school went seventh to twelfth grade, so it's all the same thing pretty much. Uh, I saw this Asian kid have them, and I just love them so much, especially with the tongue, the little bugs bun. Is it bugs bun? No, sorry, I forget the name. That was just such a nice touch, and I just love the shoe, so I had to get it this time around. So I didn't get to wear it. I think I only wore it once or twice, but that's it. Uh, Nike SB Dr. Feel Goods. These are one of the crazier pairs. I think it looks really well, it goes really well with the white laces. Super comfortable. Picked these up about 70 bucks, 60 bucks, um, two years ago, back in 2014. So, pretty happy about these. Super comfortable. Recent Maroon 6s. Um, I'll admit, I fell into the hype with these with the Nike Air on the back. Still very happy about it. Um, this is the shoe that caused a little bit of a frenzy on my channel. I colored one of them in a maroon color type thing. Uh, I think it came out okay. It was my first time doing something like this, but I was just still pretty happy to do it. So there are a couple of shoes I won't even bother showing because everyone just knows how they look. The Bread 11s, Black Cement 3s, Bread 4s. recent pickup one of the first was it the first or was it the Oreos of uh, the remastered lineup back in early 2015 super um, super clean simple colorway nice tumbled leather really comfortable so can't go wrong with these so we get into here Adidas ZX Flux I think it's called multi prism I saw these on a kit in my intro to engineering class uh, my freshman year of high school, sorry, not high school, college last year. And I looked them up and they're like 200 bucks. Uh, so I just picked them up recently off of Foot Locker restock. So I'm pretty happy to have these now. I think they look a little bit better with the black laces versus the white. So I'm a huge fan of Crazy Shoes, Nike SB, Mama Bear, Mids. Rocked these a couple times. Pin laces, really fuzzy. Anytime you wear something like this, people just really you doing so next up Nike SB Papa Bear uh, just like the Mama Bear is crazy looking shoe for all over um, and for the year that it comes from you know the condition is really great for it I'm trying to get the 
baby bears so I could complete the pack, but I haven't come across a good price. KSB Concepts Braille. This is the one that came with the concrete box. Really hyped up. Um, really nice detailing was the quilted in, in liner over here in the shoe. One shoe is um, blue and the tongue, and the other shoe is red. And they also come with. Yeah. Come with skull lace lock, so that was a pretty nice touch. I'm trying to put them on there, but failed miserably. A pair of Nike IDs me and my friends did together. I believe this is the Pegasus model. Um, this was after the easy, the Red October hype, the Easy Twos. So everything red was just popping. So we just went with this. Um, really simple, all red. That white little right there. So it was a nice hat. Yeah. Another a Nike Nike ID. Me and my friends did. Um, Thank you, Roshi. Went with the snake skin over here. So that was a nice touch. This is obviously OVO inspired. But I think it came out really well, especially with the black laces. And this is the name of my friend's clothing brand. If you want to check it out, I'll link it down below. Listen to clothing, doing big things over there. So Nike SB Star, Captain America, whatever you want to call it. This over here at the top of the tongue is leather, really tough leather. So that was a nice touch. This shoe altogether is not a great quality shoe. Excuse me, but it just looks great. Um, Nike SB in 2014, I don't know. Nike SB Janowski Beach Colorway. First saw these back in high school, didn't get them until a year or two later. Happy to have them. Crazy colorway. I think I wore these out when I went out to California. So over here, I am missing a couple shoes, including the French Blue Sevens, the Nike SB Huxtable slash Bill Cosby's, the Jordan 3 Lap 5, or the 5 Lap 3, I keep forgetting which way. Uh, they go and a couple of roshis just kind of around all around the house that's pretty much it if you like this video like it comment subscribe all that good stuff so see you